So once you make these physical changes to your database in this um, PHP file, so you'll put, just to be clear, you're going to put your database username, which you'll get from your MySQL account. Your database user will be your username from your SQL account. Your password is the unique password that you will select. Your local host you'll get from the MySQL account. Um, these next two sections will not be changed. What you'll do here is highlight, copy, and paste this URL into any browser and it's going to create these um, authentic keys for you that you're going to put in in between these two uh, quotations. And you'll do it for all four of those and then you're going to save this file not as a sample you're just going to drop the sample off so it would be wp-config.php once that's complete you're going to go back to your your um, hosting manage your account and that's going to open your host control center in the host control center you're going to click on content and this is the box you want to click which is the FTP client the FTP client will open a JavaScript and you need to uh, the, the reason why I had you save your WordPress on your desktop is that's a easy place to remember so you double click on desktop there's your WordPress with the appropriate file saved in it and then you're gonna move that across the platform so the local host is your computer the remote host is the server that you're gonna basically be moving these files to so you don't want to just move the, the the whole file over you actually want to open this and then you're gonna select all of the files in this in this system and then you're going to move those across into your remote system and that once that's done once that's completed you'll basically be able to launch WordPress so once that downloads what you're going to do is you're going to launch the application in order to launch the application you're going to enter your URL and um, the install. So this would be the URL that I have and then it's wordpress-admin forward slash install dot php. When I enter that this is the screen that you're going to see and then you, what you want to do is you want to name your blog hit install WordPress and then it's going to give you a password you're going to be the administrator and then this is the template that it gives you but what I'll show you here briefly is how to upload other